who wins in a fight? Your Jack Reacher or Tom Cruise's? Look, you know, I mean, there's, you know... What's up, everybody? It's me, E-Man, from E-Man's Movie Reviews. Alan Richton stars as Jack Reacher in the upcoming series called Reacher, and it premieres February 4th on Amazon Prime Video. I got a chance to speak with him about his upcoming series. Check it out. Alan, how's it going, man? This is Emmanuel from uh, the Movie Blog and E-Man's Movie Reviews. How you doing today? Uh, Couldn't be better, man. Talking to you. Awesome, awesome. I love to hear it, man. Um, Hey, first of all, let me just say, I, I got done watching the series loved it you did a phenomenal awesome. job so i want to give you your kudos on that first and foremost thank um, you so much. yeah i'm glad you enjoyed it thank you very much for that yeah no yo thank you seriously um now of course this this series was based off of the best-selling books um by lee child um but other people will also recognize this because of uh the movies as well so right. as you've been recast as like you know jack reacher in this amazon prime series um how did it, how do you feel taking up this role, especially following in the footsteps of someone like Tom Cruise? Look, Tom Cruise is an icon. He's, he's, uh, he's from an era where he's uh, truly a, a, a film star that's world renowned. We, we don't have a lot of those these days. I grew up watching him. Um, his work ethic and his legacy are something that I, I can, you know, I aspire to be just, a, if, if I, just a modicum of what he is. I'd be happy, you know, um, so I, I can't compare myself to him. Um, I, I only have gratitude for the visibility that he brought to the role. Um, you know, uh, you know. But now the stars have aligned for me to to also put my fingerprint on this, and and it's it's with a lot of gratitude and reverence to what's been done in the past. Um, but I, you know, I think we think of this less as a recast and more as a, you know, a, a, an opportunity to really tell this story as authentically as possible. And uh, and we've taken that brand new, fresh approach. And to be a part of that has been exciting. And, um, you know, when I've seen everything put together, I think this 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 really is a a truly authentic take on this. Um, I I think the fans are going to be pleased. It's also, you know, it's been adapted for TV. It's the right medium to tell this story. Um, We're the beneficiary of an era where we can take eight episodes to just, you know, to tell the story of one book. And that's enough time to expand these characters in a way that they're three-dimensional, you know? I mean, supporting characters and otherwise, um, because we have the time to tell the story properly. And um, again, so I think the stars have aligned to really acknowledge what's true, truly in the books. And uh, the fans will love that, but it's a TV show that's made in such a way that I think it stands alone. People who have never read the books will, ju- will enjoy this just as much. Totally agree with you on all of that. But I'm going to need you to indulge me just a little bit here. All right. Who wins in a fight? Your Jack Reacher or Tom Cruise's? Look, you know, I mean, there's, you know, I don't think you you book a Jack Reacher unless you truly believe that you are. I've always been, you know, I was like eight years old. Like, I could beat up anybody. I could beat up anybody. If I got kidnapped by somebody in the candy band, like I could beat them up, you know? I've always felt like that. So I don't know. I would never say, I'd never back down from the fight either way. I, that's fine. That's fine. I'll let you get off with that one. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, so like, okay. How did you approach the role? Like, did you um, have to do a deep dive in the books or did you just want to go in completely fresh and maybe do something unique? No, absolutely. No, my goal and my job, I think, as an actor is to bring to life in the most authentic way the author's original intent. We rarely have as much IP to, to go off of. I mean, I, you know, I've been I've been lucky enough to play some superheroes where there's a couple comic books that still gives you a lot of latitude. There were at the time there were 24 books to tell us who Jack Reacher was. So if I, I, I wanted to read those, I then got hooked. I couldn't read them fast enough. I was reading a book every like two or three days. Um, but I read them all and I became the biggest fan of Jack Reacher there is, you know, but um, with that much material from Lee Child, there is no situation where I go, what does, what would Reacher do in this situation? He answered all those questions. So I could confidently walk into this knowing I know who Jack Reacher is beyond that. Everybody's got their own version of Reacher. And I had an amazing team around me that cared as much as I did or more um, about getting this right. And so you know, we could discuss and collaborate on like, you know, tonally, like, you know, are we going to play more of the, 
uh, the wise ass here where, you know, you kind of read that sense of humor between the lines, more that straight stoic kind of reached or said nothing. I mean, there's different dimensions to who he is and uh, sort of deciding, you know, what notch to hit, you know, on the dial when you're when you're making the TV show was a, there was a lot of conversations around that. So it was, it was a, a truly collaborative effort. And uh, I think as a team, we, we landed in the right place. I got to say, one of my favorite things that you do as Reacher is just say no. Just when, when yeah. people are just saying, like, they're like, hey, we need you to do this. And you're like, no. Just, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. You got to tell me this too. Why is Reacher going to be the absolute best thing to hit Amazon Prime? Oh, you know, hey, those are big words because I think The Boys are, you know, is one of the best shows on TV. A big shout out to The Boys. I love that show. I cannot wait for the next season to come out. Um, that, you know, but, uh, you know, um, Wheel of Time is a lot of fun. And that's, you know, that's this big fantasy. I mean, it's just a big show. They also have Lord of the Rings coming. You know, I mean, there's a lot to compete with on Amazon. I think it's one of the absolute top streamers out there right now. Um, but this is something for everybody. This is not just one thing. This is, uh, it's, a, it's a drama, it's full of action, it's very mysterious. Uh, you get really wrapped up in the puzzle and, and, and are they gonna figure this out? There's a great love story. Um, you know, you, you get invested in these characters. It's just a phenomenally well done show and it's funny. It's funny, I mean, unexpectedly funny for, for, for an actioner. Um, so it, it appeals to men, women, young, old. Um, I don't think any other show does that as well as we do. So uh, I think, you know, that I think it's, uh, broadness, I think, is what's going to make it work so well. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, look, uh, I really appreciate your time today. One last thing I'm going to leave you with, because I know you yeah. mentioned all the superhero roles you did and all that. When are you doing a Marvel role? Because I think Hyperion would be perfect for you. Uh, there we go. I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll investigate. Hyper I'll see if we can get Hyperion going. Uh, but yeah, I'm down. I'm down to cheat on DC. I've yes, enough there DC you go. Characters. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you very much, man. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this interview. If you're interested in my review of this, check out the link in the description. If you're new here and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe for more. If you'd like to see some of my other interviews, just click on one of the videos here. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.